So to make a slight addendum to the video, the previous video on the C96, when the shop owner was pulling out his C96 to show me the, uh, the Austro-Hungarian one here, he also pulled out this stock and this stock, and I thought it would have been a good idea to kind of cover some of the variants in these C96 stocks and tell you how to maybe spot a fake a little bit easier. So here you have an Austro the Austro-Hungarian contract. Here you have a very late recent production commercial Chinese stock, which I would not recommend anybody get if they have just a C96 lying around. And this is a very interesting one. This is an original German Mauser, Con Mauser commercial model stock that has been modified to be purely a holster while it was in use during the Weimar Republic area in Germany. And I'll show you each of them in greater detail um, starting here. Starting with the Austro-Hungarian stock, the first thing you noti that I noticed on this is the hinge. Now, you'll see in a minute on the German commercial stock and on the German military stocks, they would be a big loop right here. And that would be used to help the leather harness um, be located onto the stock so that you could wear this thing as a holster. This one, this doesn't appear to be any kind of standardized um, belt loop attachment system. This looks like this might have been done by the Austro-Hungarians in the field in a field expedient manner. This little piece of leather that's been tacked on, it's not really holding on very well anymore, so I'm not going to touch it too much. Another thing to note with these stocks, it's important when you're just looking at them, is they do tend to crack a lot given how thin the wood is here. So we have a large crack forming right here. We have a crack right here, which is another spot where they crack a lot. Um, you have, and it's cut all the way down to accept the pistol down there, and you have this spring on a piece here on the hinge. Um, moving forward, you have the stock attachment point where you have a serial number that on a true 100% matching rig, this serial number will be matching to the gun. As I mentioned in the previous video, this stock does not match to the gun, but, it, what, but they both were picked up together in France at the end of World War I by an American soldier and sent home by a Mr. Rosenthal. Moving on, we have the Mauser commercial stock here. I'm going to pull this leather harness off of it so we can see it better. This is a 100-year-old piece of leather. I don't really want to hurt it in it at all. Looking over here, you got the Mauser logo stamped into it. You have a hinge that has roughly the same amount of re that takes about the same amount of real estate on this one. However, as I mentioned, you have this loop right here. This loop is used to get this leather tab to stay in place to help the stock just sit in here. Now, I alluded to it, what makes this stock very interesting is that it has had the attachment point entirely removed, making this thing basically just a holster only for a C96. And that's how this would have been used by Freikorps forces and uh, German police forces in the Weimar Republic era is that this would have been issued out as a holster for a Mauser C96 pistol. At that point, it might have even been a bolo. I, I don't know all, everything about C96s, but that's the Mauser commercial stock from probably the 1920s, maybe the 1930s. Finally, last and very much least, we have the Chinese commercial stock. Um, I think this thing was probably made at most 40, 50 years ago. It seems to be made out of about the same kind of wood that SKS stocks were made out of. I know because on the inside of my SKSs, they all, the wood's coming apart like that. <laughs> That's about the same finish as an SKS stock or a uh, Type 56 uh, AK stock. This one does still have the loop for locating the harness. However, this one is fixed in place with an entirely different screw setup. The hinge is a different size. They do have the loops, but they do have a different number of screws. This one does have five screw holes, but only four screws in it, but you get what I mean. These also have slotted head screws as opposed to Phillips head screws on the Chinese stock here. And the owner very specifically mentioned to me <laughs> about the fitment of these. He said, whatever you do, don't try to put this on the C96 because it might not come off. I don't have full confidence that it won't. So I respected his instructions and did not. Uh, another thing to note about this one 
is its geometry is a lot different than sorry to reach in front of the camera than the other C96 stock. And you can see here, there's about a solid maybe inch and a half, actually no, more like two, three inches of difference in length and the dimensions go over here where it's got a whole lot more free space in this stock for the C96 to basically just rattle around in than this one. These fit pretty snugly inside of this but this one I haven't even bothered trying with it and I don't really want to. It's not my C96. I don't want to hurt it. Um, but that's just a little bit of extra information I found while filming the C96 video and I thought I'd cover it on a little extra, a little separate video here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.